Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this tarot reading is going to be for the sign of Taurus for Wednesday to Friday the 15th of January. I hope you're fantastic. So real quick, I have, um, I'm wearing the calcite, orange calcite that's dark orange and then the lighter orange calcite. These are both on my website, starseed1111.com and under shop. So there's stones that are good for um, it's this stone here, and it's actually good for sacral chakra, things that have to do with creativity as well as socializing and just overall feeling good. Okay, so let's see what's coming in here for the sign of Taurus. So Mars moved into Taurus. Anytime Mars moves into a zodiac sign, I feel like it really gives that sign, sun sign, especially a lot of energy, physical energy, momentum, ambition, drive, self-confidence, power. And if it's not directed properly, it could be frustration or anger if things aren't going your way. So let's see what's coming in here for Taurus. Energies for Taurus. What's coming in here for Taurus? Wow, the karma card, which is judgment, Pluto energy. Good karma. Something being raised up, reconciled, um, looked at, a calling, judgment day. Judgment is a positive card. I've had people ask me, is judgment like a reckoning, like harsh judgment? Usually it's something being raised up or brought back around. Ace of Wands, something exciting, fire energy. Four of Pentacles, holding back. Somebody who is conservative, like they're holding back their energy. Could be someone who is afraid to let go or spend, like saving money. So I have a Five of Swords, past energy, conflict with a person, could be dealing with like a narcissist or somebody who's really into themselves. Page of Pentacles is coming into your awareness. Good news about money, a message regarding money, something to do with an Ace of Coins, so it'd be an opportunity an opportunity for finances or a job or something that would lead to material wealth. Nine of Swords. Feeling very worried about a situation here with where there was conflict or somebody who's really into themselves or something like that. Oh, so we have here Three of Swords. So Swords are when you're up in your mind thinking about something a lot. So this looks like overthinking something. Ten of Swords is around you, so it's coming to an end. The person around you probably feels worse. Okay, you can ace of, you're wanting the truth, or you want something to be made clear. Outcome. Six of Cups, a person from your past coming back around. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. What is the Three of Swords energy here? And two of Cups. So there is love, there is a bond, but there's something that's mentally painful. Separations, hurt feelings. What is the Ten of Swords? Two of Pentacles. Somebody maybe was trying to find balance between two people or things or trying to stay balanced during an emotional time. What is the Queen of Cups? Queen of Cups could be somebody who's being very compassionate. What is the Queen of Cups? Knight of Coin. So somebody who's taking a long time to come in. They're trying to figure out the right way to approach. 
What is the Nine of Swords? Chariot. You could want to get out of a situation. Your emotions feel like you want to go, go out of a situation away from the pain and maybe this anger or whatever this is. What is the Page of Pentacles? Wow, Death card. Could be Scorpio. What is the Four of Pentacles? What is the Four of Pentacles for Taurus? Four of Wands. You're trying. Somebody is trying to maintain a stable home life, but there's something that is changing due to the stress that something is bringing. Queen of Wands. There's fire energy here, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or this is how you feel with Mars coming into Taurus. You feel confident and like you want to move forward. Okay, so there could be somebody coming back around. What is this Six of Cups, Knight of Pentacles? Who is this person coming back around? Who is the person coming back around for Taurus? Six of Wands. Somebody wants to be seen. Could be a fire sign. Page of Swords. Somebody's watching, observing. Fool card. Wanting a fresh start, a new beginning. What is the Ten of Swords here? Why is Ten of Swords here? Queen of Cups. So somebody wants to come forward and show compassion. Eight of Wands. Very quickly, a lot of texting or messages. What is the chariot? Why is this here? Ooh, wanting to get out of a, um, like a negative situation where there's conflict, hurt feelings. What is the death coming in? Feeling like a wounded warrior or feeling very exhausted. So something's going to change and transform. What is the five of wands? You're going to feel like I need to get out of this. Like I can't fight with a person. I want stability. What is three of swords and two of cups? Ace of rods. Okay. There's a two of cups coming in towards you. Seven of cups. Choices and love. Hanging man. Feeling like you're in limbo. And eight of pentacles. Earth energy. Being very picky. I feel like you're being picky. There could be like a person that is coming in towards you, but you're scrutinizing them in some way. Okay, so there could also be an air sign around you. What is the Six of Wands? What is this victory energy? Six of Swords, somebody returning. What is the Nine of Wands? Why is Nine of Wands here? Knight of Cups. So somebody's coming in, Three of Pentacles. Somebody you maybe knew through work and Six of Coin. They want to collaborate. Hmm, Nine of Swords. Something about this is like making you worried or concerned. Hmm. So there's a fresh start and an opportunity to get out of conflict. There's something here about being unable to make a decision because you're um, being too picky or looking at the details or somebody's being too critical so then they don't move forward at all it's like oh I've got so many choices let me look at each and every little line item detail to see what I want <laughs> okay okay what is coming in here for Taurus what is this energy with the outcome till Friday. What is coming in for Taurus? Here we go. Six of Swords. Somebody returning. What is the Six of Swords? Five of Wands. Competitive energy. Somebody who's competitive. There's a Five of Cups, could be somebody who feels regret. And then we have this Queen of Wands again, Aries Energy and Ten of Cups, long-term emotional commitment. A Six of Pentacles, somebody wants to collaborate or share. Earth Energy. 
Okay, what's coming in here for Taurus? What is their energy? Hemp. <laughs> Hemp expansion. So you could be expanding your network, um, expanding your social circle. We are in Aquarian energy with Mercury and Aquarius in the third decan. So there's Mars and the moon behind this Mercury. So follow your instincts, follow your intuition. This intrusion energy, milk thistle. Something here is like needs to be cleansed. It could be the environment you're in, like do a cleansing with sage. Because milk thistle, I think, is like to cleanse your your liver or your kidneys. Nettle. Caution. Huh. Oh, and then we have here the olive branch of peace. But it's an olive piece. There's olive oil on there too. Bottom has reconciliation. Okay, I'm going to leave it here for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and take care.